This video demonstrates the look, feel, and move components of a basic lumbar spine exam. Starting with inspection, gown the patient appropriately so you can observe the back and look for any swelling, erythema, atrophy, deformity, or scars, including any abnormal curvature in the spine. On palpation, you're going to start with the midline at the thoracic region, palpating down the bony elements of the spinous processes. Then the soft tissues, including the paraspinal muscles or the erector spinae muscle group. Ask the patient if there's any pain in these areas and compare side to side. Next, you're going to localize the dimples of venous at the level of the PSIS or the posterior superior iliac spine, as well as over the region of the SI joint. Next, range of motion. For the lumbar spine, you're going to observe both in the anterior and lateral plane as the patient goes for the cardinal movements, which include flexion, extension, which are demonstrated here, as well as lateral bending to the left and to the right. One tip to ensure that you're seeing extension coming from the lumbar spine is to block off the pelvis by having someone stand up right up against the bed and then extend backwards. Remember, this is just a basic exam. Your total exam will include things like checking for pulses here, your posterior tibial artery pulse, as well as your dorsalis pedis, which will be on the dorsum of the foot. In addition, there are a number of special tests that you'll perform that can be seen in our other videos and always include a good lower extremity gait examination whenever examining anything in regards to the low back or the lower extremity itself.